Are you seeing repetitive numbers on a daily or weekly basis? Are you seeing them at such a frequency that it's making you think, is this just a coincidence or is this more? Well, today I want to speak to you about numbers and how God speaks to us through numbers. Uh, firstly, people have written to us before when we've shared this and said, are you into numerology? No, we're not into numerology, but we are massive believers that God wants to speak to us and through any means and any necessary way that he can. He spoke through a donkey in the Bible and he can speak through numbers he created it, right? He's the creator of the universe and that's what he does. So today I want to speak to you about the number 11. It was in 2011, Christy and I moved back from the States to Australia and we had to start again. It felt like a real shifting season for us, but we just were really unsure about what God was doing in our lives. And I was waking up every single morning, most mornings at 1.11 and I would check my, I would check my watch at work at 11.11 in the mornings. It always seemed to be 11.11. And this happened over months and I was beginning to go, am I going crazy? Why am I seeing numbers? Is there something wrong with me? And uh, one day the Lord began to speak to me. He said, Nate, I'm trying to speak to your heart. And I was like, but you don't speak through numbers. That's not what you do. Uh, and then I actually spoke to a friend of mine. He was seeing the exact same thing. And I said, Lord, okay, then I'm open. What are you trying to say to me? So I want to share it with you. If you've seen this number, uh, I want to share with you about um, possible meanings of this number. Uh, these are what God's spoken to me, but I encourage you to ask God for yourself because it's not a formula or methodology. Yes, we can use, you know, symbology to be able to understand things, but I do believe that we need Holy Spirit. So you say, God, what are you trying to speak to me? What does it mean to me? That, that meant that to Nate, but what does it mean for me? So I want to share a little bit of a resource from a friend of ours. Her name is Jody Hughes from Poured Out Church, and you can get this resource. I'll put the link up um, below. And this is what she said that 1111 means. It's, she says it's awakening, a wake up call, fresh spiritual awakening into more, supernatural favor and provision to take possession of promises, transition and alignment, revival. God is bringing life to the dead things and places and God is breathing encounters over you to wake you up into spiritual clarity, fresh connected relationship with him and awakened sense of identity in God and your exciting eternal purpose. Well, that's amazing because that's exactly what I believe it, it really means. I want, to, I want to go into a little bit further depth now but about the number 11 and what God began to speak to me. So we're at a time, obviously, that we came back from America and we're kind of in this unknown place, okay? And the scriptures that God began to speak to me through these numbers were this, Isaiah 11, 11. It says, in that day, the Lord will reach out his hand a second time to reclaim the surviving remnant of his people. See, this is speaking about God separating us. He was pulling us out of one season to prepare us for another. There was an assignment that was being released in that season, but God was separating separating us first and in that season of separation it feels very uh, uncomfortable because you don't really you're not really sure what's going on so God was saying to me it's okay I'm separating you second scripture is John 11 11 after he had said this I went on to tell them our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep but I'm going there to wake him up resurrection life God of the impossible awakening it means that God is awakening you maybe there's areas of your life that you felt dead maybe there's areas of your heart that you felt like you've been Lazarus in the tomb and you're dead and gone those dreams you've been sitting on the sidelines of life God's saying I'm awakening you I'm waking up those dead bones in your life I'm causing you to dream again if you're seeing those numbers God's saying hey get ready because I'm I'm, I'm pouring out such, such a fresh fire in your spirit you're never going to be the same again and Deuteronomy 11 11 this is one of the big ones uh, for me at least but the land you're crossing the Jordan to take possession of is a land of mountains and valleys that drinks from the rain of heaven. God's saying you are crossing over into your promised land. I'm taking you from a place of lack and wilderness and where you've been feeling like you've been restricted and limited into a place of abundance. And many times when we're going through that transition and crossover, it can feel like that. It can feel like, well, I'm in the place where I'm having to let a lot go to be able to say yes to this fresh thing. Transition is messy. And there's this other scripture, Luke 11, 11, which of your fathers if your son asks for a fish will give him a snake instead that's God saying I've got good things for you don't, don't don't believe the report because in a season of transition that 11 season right it can feel like that things are being taken away from you but God's actually adding to you he's saying I'm not going to give you a stone I'm not going to give you a snake I'm going to give you bread and so that's what God's saying to you right now now interesting all right we I want to look at the Hebrew breakdown of 11 for you give you a little bit of the backing that because um, there is there's a few uh, there's a few things that God I believe God uses numbers like I said but there is uh, I, there is some deeper truths when you dig into the Hebrew and understand how God put those numbers in place okay he's the alpha and omega so there is this there is a lot that you can discover by looking into the Hebrew Hebrew. 
And so the number 11 is Achat Esre. And that actually means, that number has meaning attached to it, okay? It means disorder, disorganization, incomplete, and transition, and between 10 and 12. Well, that's, that's kind of a given. What does that mean? Okay, but in between 10, which represents complete order and ending of a season, and 12, which is the government of God, it means that stepping into divine destiny, there is disorder and there's disorganization. That What is God saying? I'm taking you through the hallway to take you from 10 to 12, take you from the ending of a past season or era into a new one. And sometimes it won't make sense. Sometimes it will look messy. Your ducks will not be in a row in that season, but I'm taking you through. When you're seeing 11, 11 or 111, God's saying, hey, it might look like things are chaotic right now, but that's okay. I'm getting you prepared for your promise. I hope that makes sense to you. And I hope that speaks to you. Now, I just want to speak to you also about the law of first mention. Now, the 11th... um, the 11th letter in the alphabet is also key, okay? And that is cuff. And cuff, um, there is, cuff looks like three different things. There's the actual pictogram of it. It, um, it looks like the palm. It looks like uh, a crown and it also looks like an empty container. Why is that key? What, what, is that, what has that got to do with any of this, Nate? Well, I'm going to tell you what it means. The law of first mentions of that first letter cuff in the Bible is this one. And I believe that the law of first mentions is basically saying that there is weight or significance. There is an order of precedence that comes from looking at that uh, that law of first mention. So this is the scripture, Exodus 4.2. And the Lord said to him, what is in your hand? And he said, a rod. And he said, cast it on the ground in a season of transition. God saying, your palm, release what's in your hand. Let go of the old. I'm taking you into a new place. What you have in your hands is not going to carry you in the new season. You're going to need to have to let go of that. Okay. So that represents the palm. That's saying, God, I surrender to you. Okay. That's God. I surrender. Open my palms to you. Go your way, not mine. Your will, not mine. It's no longer either lose, but Christ who lives in me. Where are you taking me? God, I trust you with that journey. Second thing is this, the crown. God saying in the journey, in the transition, don't forget your royalty. See in this, sometimes we go through these seasons where we feel like we're abandoned by God. God's like, don't you forget who you are and whose you are in that season. I want you to step into a highway thinking and authority, not lose it on the way. And the third thing is, is the container. It's the same thing as the first is that's an empty container. God's saying, I'm emptying you to fill you up. It's like the woman at the well in John four, that she, she was trying to get water that she had to keep scooping up over and over and over and over and over. Jesus is like, Hey, I've got water, I've got water that you can drink that you'll never have to thirst again. God's saying, where I'm taking you, where I'm taking you, you're never going to have to thirst again. Where I'm taking you, you've been doing things your own strength, your own ways. Allow me to empty you because I'm going to fill you. Don't believe the report. Don't look around you. Don't get into fear. Don't get into all those things because where I'm taking you is going to be a place of milk and honey and I'm going to refresh you. You're going to get a fresh new assignment on your life. And I also believe that 11, it also speaks of the 11th hour. Many people People I know that have seen the number 11 have been, um, I believe they're in an 11th hour situation and maybe that is for you and you're watching right now and you're like, well, I'm in a crisis. Well, I believe that God's saying, I'm bringing the reinforcements. I'm bringing the answer to you. It's like Lazarus in the tomb, how he was literally, he was past the, he was past the date. People are like, well, he's, he's, he's beginning to decompose now and God still read Jesus, still resurrected him from the dead. God's saying, you feel like you're past. You feel like you're even at the 11th hour, but I'm coming in with reinforcements and I'm going to rescue you. I'm going to show Show myself strong on your behalf. So I hope this encouraged you today. Um, if you have any questions, please write them below. If you're not if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We're going to share more of these videos. If you have any questions, we'd love to be able to chat with you. Maybe some people in, in the thread as well can help you out. But I believe that God wants to speak to you. This is not about numbers. This is about that God wants to get his his heart and he, what he's saying about you and how amazing you are. He wants to get that message to you and he'll use any means that he can. Uh, so God, I, guys, I bless you. And I just, I just pray that God will continue to add revelation to you and speak to you about this coming season through numbers in any way that he wants to bless you. <music>